Now, in this session, we learn about the movement of rima glottidis. For the movement of rima glottidis, first we have to know what is rima glottidis. The rima glottidis, this is the narrowest anterior posterior cleft of the laryngeal cavity, which is lined by non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium and is completely devoid of submucous coat. And this space is bounded by this is anterior posterior right and left look at it so this is anterior posterior right and left anteriorly this is the thyroid cartilage and this is the thyroid angle so anteriorly bounded by the thyroid angle posteriorly this dotted line is present in between two arytenoid cartilages so this one this is the inter arytenoid fold and on each side this too this is bounded by anteriorly by the vocal ligament which is drawn by the black color and posteriorly by the arytenoid cartilage mainly the vocal process so this is the rima glottidis in normal respiration the shape of this rima glottidis is pentagonal as you can see here 1 2 3 4 and 5 so again come to the boundary anteriorly angle of thyroid posteriorly inter arytenoid fold and on each side anteriorly anterior three fifth is by the vocal ligament and posterior two fifth is by the arytenoid cartilage now look at this part in this portion in this portion these two are arytenoid cartilages and this is representing the vocal ligament this is the position of the thyroid cartilage and this is the position of the inter arytenoid fold and look at the shape the shape is pentagonal now we will go through the movement of this rima glottidis during movement let us recapitulate one thing this is a cricoid cartilage and this two arytenoid cartilages were like this posterior cricoarytenoid muscle when it contract then movement will be posteriorly and when lateral will move uh, contract the movement will be like this Now, come to the thorough movement of this rima glottidis. First, this is the pentagonal shape which is in normal or quiet breathing, the first one. Then, in full respiration, in full respiration, when the posterior cricoarytenoid will act, what will happen? The posterior cricoarytenoid will go like this. When the horizontal fibers will contract, then the movement of this arytenoid cartilage will be in this fashion. That means like this. So the shape of the shape of rima glottidis in this case it is diamond shaped, and when the longitudinal fibers will contract then over the shoulder this will glide like this the arytenoid cartilage will guide like this and for which the shape of this rima glottidis is a large triangle that is in full inspiration in human beings this large triangular shape occurs what occurs in high pitched voice it becomes sleet like that means like this how this will happen that is adduction adduction of the intercartilaginous as well as intermembranous part how will this take place when any muscle which is contracting this two what are those the transversus arytenoideus as well as obliquus arytenoideus when they will act then the intercartilaginous as well as 
intermembranous part will come in close contact with each other that is adduction and that occurs in high pitched voice. What occurs during whispering? During whispering, the lateral cricoarytenoid will act. The position of lateral cricoarytenoid is like this. So, when this will contract, then the movement will be like this. This will be the movement due to the contraction of lateral cricoarytenoid. And due to the contraction of lateral arytenoid, cricoarytenoid, if this be the movement of this arytenoid cartilages, then look at the shape of rhymoglottidis. This is just inverted funnel shape. So, these are the movements of the rhymoglottidis. You have to go through it in detail because this is very, very important for practical purpose as well as your uh, theory. Thank you.